I'm Justin Patrick. I'm here with Paul C. Buff. Today I'm talking about how I use strobe lighting with film. When using film, since instant film isn't really a thing anymore and it's prohibitively expensive, uh, using a digital camera is the next best thing. And you get instant feedback, uh, which is why I choose to integrate digital in my workflow. So on today's shoot, I use two cameras, one film, one digital. For my film camera, I use the Mamiya RZ67. Uh, loaded it with Portra 400 and my lens on it was a 127 millimeter. My digital camera was a Canon EOS R with a 24 to 105 f4. During the shoot, when I was setting up my lights, uh, I would frequently test what my lighting was doing. And when the model was ready, I'd bring her in and just give a quick test shot and show my makeup artist uh, what everything looked like. Initially, we had a plan of where we wanted the makeup to be, and by taking a couple digital test shots, I was able to show her in real time just what the makeup was doing under the light so that she can make all the adjustments that she needed to. For my first lighting setup, the beauty dish is the key, and then I had the PLM as a background. And that was able just to give us like a pure white backdrop. Um, two lights, very simple. I don't have to worry about metering everywhere. I can just set it right to the back, um, overexpose it by one stop, and then set whatever my key light is. I wanted something that was a little bit moodier, so I used the 24 inch silver interior collapsible beauty dish as my key light. Uh, it also had a grid on it to control the light a little bit more. Uh, underneath, I used a white fill card just to kind of bring up the light under her chin and to bring it up even more and just to kind of give the photo a little bit more depth, I had an 86 inch PLM on an Einstein with a white diffusion off to camera right. So for the last lighting setup to get this pure white, I used the white backdrop this time, but I used a Einstein with an eight inch silver reflector inside of an 86 inch silver PLM with a white diffusion cover on the front. I just kind of exposed it as normal. Um, usually I want to stay at around F8 just to get a nice amount of depth of field. And to kind of fill in on the other side, I had a white V flat just to decrease the contrast on the other side. A few tips that I have about shooting with film. Uh, for starters, most 35 millimeter cameras have a sync speed, so always set your camera to whatever your sync speed is. Also, when using film, it's really no different than shooting digital. The only difference that you primarily have shooting film versus shooting digital is that you tend to want to overexpose just a little bit on film, whereas in digital, you have the leeway to underexpose and then recover in post. If you'd like to see more of my work, you can find me at thephotojojo.com or at my Instagram at thephotojojo. Be sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel.